Here we have Mr. Dipesh Nanda with us. He is the CEO of Gas Power System, GE South Asia. Welcome to the ET Energy World. Gas prices have collapsed so much. I mean, we are seeing spot gas prices at around four, four and a half dollar per mm BTU. What is the kind of impact do you see on demand for gas-based uh, power plants? I think uh, gas will find a meaningful presence in the generation capacity uh, in South Asia, and I would say in particular in India, because of a couple of reasons. One is that uh, the pricing issue, which earlier was an in inertia in terms of the cost of electricity on based on imported price before it was a double digit number that seems to be getting solved with the macros now falling in place and the price of gas becoming an attractive single digit price the other is that india has this ambitious target of increasing its capacity of renewable energy of wind and solar now that is an infirm source of power you'll have to balance that with a firm source of power and the way to do it is either you build hydro plants or you build a gas based plant so that you have a quick ramp up now Hydro versus gas, I think gas is a faster play. Third is environment. With uh, the advent of uh, COP21 being now enforced, I think gas being a cleaner source of fuel will find a mix in our generation play. Uh, an interesting fact about South Asia is how these markets have been using gas-based power generation in the energy mix for power gen. Uh, India, for example, has a total uh, installed capacity of approximately 300 gigawatt out of which 60% is based on coal. But if you go to Bangladesh, the total installed capacity is 12 gigawatt, 60% is based on gas. Pakistan recently has embarked on an ambitious program to increase the, the installed base of gas-based power generation. So I think gas is likely to find a larger role in the power generation mix of South Asia, especially in countries like India, Bangladesh, Pakistan. Why do you think Bangladesh is a sort of more uh, excited about gas? Is it more to do with the recent drop in gas prices? Is it more to do with the uh, environmental aspect of it? What do you think is driving it? Okay, there are a couple of reasons. One is that uh, Bangladesh has domestic gas and it has an installed capacity of 12 gigawatt as I mentioned earlier. Out of this 12 gigawatt, 60 percent is based on domestic gas. Domestic gas is available anywhere between one dollar to two dollar MMBTU. Now just contrast that with what's the availability in India. So availability driven power generation of gas based power in Bangladesh has been the main reason for them to have a higher mix of power generation based on gas. The other is conducive policies in terms of off take agreements, better risk management between developers and the government. Here there are two specific things. First, gas or fuel always is a pass through. Second, every PPA is backed by the sovereign guarantee of Bangladesh or an equivalent guarantee by the Bangladesh Power Development Board. The buyer of electricity is just one common buyer, which is the Bangladesh Electricity Board called BPTB. And there has been no default whatsoever in terms of a power purchase agreement. This increases the confidence of investors to invest in a market like that. And there has been a glut of investment coming in from across the world, right from multilateral agencies to exim banks to companies like GE who have used their balance sheet to invest in projects in Bangladesh because of the attractiveness of the investment in Bangladesh, thanks to the policy. So I think this, this will continue. They've reached a point where they have exhausted the domestic sources of gas for additional power generation. And this will see the onslaught of imported gas coming into the country. Which is why probably even Indian companies are now interested in setting up LNG terminals there. I mean, there have been exactly. talks about it and proposals. About Absolutely. It. So uh, Petro Bangla, which is the uh, government's arm to handle fuel, they have now launched um, a pre-qualification of land-based terminals. And also, they are in the process of getting um, FSRUs to carry gas in the country. Um, GE is currently working with several partners there to uh, set up something called gas to power power plants, uh, which is that GE will play a, a role to facilitate the gas infrastructure part of the business, as well as to set up the power generation part of the business. You've and all this is this, based on You've been in Bangladesh for a long, long time. Tell us your experience and who are your partners and how well you have done and kind of prospects which you see for yourself. So the government is our biggest partner. We have an installed base of around 40 gas turbines across all our technologies. Uh, we have 1,500 gas engines. Uh, 1,500 gas engines in one country, it uh, actually qualifies as the second largest installation for gas engines of General Electric in the world. 
the other is we have worked very well with the private sector. Uh, companies like Summit Corporation, for example, we have made investments, we have co-developed projects with them. And these projects have seen the light of the day. We have uh, achieved record completion time. Uh, we are right now generating power in uh, Bangladesh based on those investments. Uh, GE equipment would, would account for more than 50% of all the power that's generated in the country. And we have a solid pipeline of new project activity where we are continuously engaged in working both with the government and the private sector to increase the generation capacity in Bangladesh. Would you like to quantify the kind of order which you have in Bangladesh going forward for the next say five years, three years? I think the addition of capacity what uh, GE uh, is, is currently participating in, anywhere between two gigawatt to three gigawatt every year for the next three years mm -hmm. is the kind of pipeline that we are seeing in that marketplace. Mm -hmm. And we've experienced early success in 2016 uh, we are, we are uh, already, we've been awarded uh, a very large project recently uh, to repower an old power plant where you uh, make use of the existing steam turbine mm -hmm. and come in with mm -hmm. a new open cycle mm -hmm. with a combined cycle power plant. Mm -hmm. uh, in the coming days, we will be announcing uh, a few other wins. So I would say that two to three gigawatt every year for the next mm -hmm. three years is the pipeline that uh, mm -hmm. that market will offer. So looks pretty bright. Are there any key challenge which you see in that market? I think uh, this is common to every market. It's, it's just that you need to be uh, patient, you need to work through the entire process, uh, you need to work with all the stakeholders such that you bring the highest technology. Um, and I must confess that the Bangladesh government as well as the private sector have been pretty open in embracing new technology. Uh, we would see the advent of our first high efficiency H-class technology in that market in the next few years, uh, which will take the efficiency of a combined cycle power plant above the 60% mark. And what all this does is that it reduces the cost of electricity for the people of Bangladesh. But no particular hurdle which I would be concerned or worried about. Mm -hmm. I think that market is currently well poised for growth. and. Um, I would compliment uh, the government as well as the uh, local private sector on how they have been able to develop this industry to attract investment from across the world. Looks pretty good and wish you all the very Thank best and it was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you.